Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're gonna do the FAQ on the Realme 3 Pro. So Realme 3 Pro is the latest smartphone from Realme in India and the successor of the Realme 2 Pro. This comes with good hardware, it has the Snapdragon 710 octa-core processor. It comes in 4-6GB uh, uh, RAM and offers 64 and 128GB storage. And uh, this also comes uh, with a really good uh, uh, cameras as well, the battery uh, capacity is also good. So in this video we will talk about all those uh, aspects. So let's get started with uh, the detailed FAQ on this device. So first step, let's have a look at the sensors available on the device. So it comes with the proximity, a gyroscope sensor, light, magnetic, accelerometer, all these sensors are included on the Realme uh, 3 Pro. Now talking about the display, so this device comes with a 6.3 uh, inches uh, Full HD plus resolution display, it has the uh, dew drop notch and the display quality as such looks good. It is uh, the Full HD plus resolution display and it is protected by uh, Gorilla Glass 5. So you can see that the viewing angles are really good on this device. The touch response feels very smooth and you also get a pre-installed screen guard on this device. So you don't have to buy another screen guard so that is pre-installed and on top of that this also comes with Gorilla Glass 5. So you get added protection for the device. Now talking about the design and build quality, the device definitely looks good with uh, the, the grade in color. It is made of polycarbonate material. We are not really sure about the durability of this material. We have to use it for longer time to see if this attracts scratches but uh, this is made of plastic so you have to be careful with the device uh, and uh, the company provides a case with a box package so you can use that case. Now talking about the sim card, so this device comes with the dual sim card, so it is a dual 4G Volti support and there is also a dedicated SD card support in case you want to expand the storage, it is offered with 64GB storage uh, for the 4 and 6GB uh, RAM and the 6GB RAM variant also comes with 128GB storage. So that's the storage aspect, yeah, there is also a dedicated SD card slot in case you want to expand it. Now talking about the fingerprint scanner, so we'll just test out the fingerprint scanner performance. It's very fast a fingerprint scanner, probably one of the fastest in this segment. So extremely fast and responsive fingerprint scanner. Now let's have a look at uh, the face unlock. So again it's very fast uh, here. So there you go. Extremely fast uh, face unlock on the uh, Realme 3 Pro. Now talking about the software, so this device comes with a uh, Color OS 6.0 and uh, this is on top of Android 9.0. So Color US, uh, OS has been uh, modified, you can see that the new Color OS which we have seen on the Realme 3 as well. So it comes with a whole lot of features like clone apps, split screen, game space, support for themes, gestures uh, and uh, other functions and features are included. So you get all these functions uh, in this uh, device. So that's the software aspect of the Realme 3 Pro. Now talking about the performance, so this device comes with uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 Octa-Core processor and uh, this is having either 4GB RAM or 6GB RAM and the performance is really good on this device, uh, it's very smooth, no lags whatsoever and uh, there is no heating issues uh, in the daily usage and we also done a detailed gaming test of this device so you can have a look at uh, the gaming performance to uh, get an idea about uh, how good the experience is so we have uploaded a dedicated gaming video. Also, if you are interested in the benchmark score, this is the benchmark score for uh, the Realme 3 Pro. You can uh, see the uh, the CPU score and the GPU score. Uh, the CPU is around uh, 60k, 59, 160. GPU score is around 48503, and uh, the total score is around 155,102. So, so it's slightly lower than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now, talking about the battery. So the phone comes with a 40-45 mAh uh, capacity battery, which also has VOOC charging. So VOOC charging is one of the uh, faster uh, charging mechanism, it has a 20 watt uh, fast charger. So that's included in the box pack and this charger uh, takes around 1 hour and 20 minutes to charge the complete battery. That's pretty good performance, 1 hour 20 minutes for a budget smartphone is really good performance and uh, the battery performance is also good. We'll talk about the battery performance and the actual charging time in a separate video. We'll uh, cover the battery performance in a separate video so stay tuned for that. Now talking about the speaker performance, so we'll just play a sound uh, from the YouTube uh, library. So 
So that's the sound output. It's adequately loud enough. It may not be the loudest out there, but the sound quality looks quite okay for me. And um, the speaker performance is definitely acceptable for this price segment. Now LED notification. So we'll just connect this device to a charger to see if there is any LED notification. So this has a USB micro USB charging slot. Actually, there is no Type C port, so that's the one. So let's uh, we have kept it for charging and uh, no notification. So there is no LED notification available on this device. Quite similar to other Oppo smartphones from other companies. So there is no LED notification available. Now USB OTG functionality it is supporting the USB OTG so if you uh, go to the additional settings uh, you can uh, scroll down and then you can see there is an OTG connection uh, support so just turn this on and uh, you can connect your computer peripherals uh, like keyboard mouse to the device now talking about the camera quality so this device comes with a dual camera setup it has a 16 and a 5 megapixel uh, rear camera and it also has a 25 megapixel ai selfie camera so we have done a detailed camera review of this device found the camera to be really good and it's a performing camera in this price segment so uh, you can check out that camera review video to see how good the performance is and also to see the samples we uploaded uh, from the device now a few other things which uh, a lot of uh, you have been asking us whether there is camera to API support so you can see that uh, there is camera to API support and it is uh, full uh, uh, support uh, is offered by the realme 3 pro so that's one uh, important aspect apart from that a lot of you have been asking us whether there is a wide wide l1 support so we have uh, uh, install the app and we'll just show you here so you can see that there is support for wide wide uh, wide wide l1 on this device so that's the uh, information uh, available on this device so that is the faq on uh, the realme 3 pro so hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video uh, if you have any questions uh, you can just ask us uh, this device will be available exclusively on flipkart as of now so you can pick this device from flipkart and this is available in uh, uh, three colors uh, we have the violet uh, then uh, we have the nitro blue and there is also gray variant so we have the nitro blue available and it is offered in three variants 464 664 and 6128 gigabyte and available starting rupees 13 triple nine so that is the detailed FAQ on the realme 3 pro hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day